testing, testing. All right, guys. Here we are. Welcome back to the Steve XM show, guys. So today is a very, 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 very uh, special episode. So what we're doing today is we're showing off the universal replay system. So I got this super advanced automated highlight replay system that anyone that's a VR streamer, flat game streamer, uh, you guys are going to want this. So what it's going to do is you're going to double click your middle mouse button or you're going to say like a voice command or something like that and it's going to make a clip. Uh, and it's going to record the past 20 seconds of your gameplay. And uh, it can store up to 10 games of footage the way I have it programmed. Uh, I got it programmed to do like 20 seconds at a time. You can change all that stuff. Let's just show it off real quick. Let's uh, let's just do it live. All right, so we're in Valorant. Um, we're going to be... Actually, let's, let's, let's stop this. So originally I had this program for Valorant, but I just want to show how easy it's going to be to transition this to any game you want. So we're going to use Blender today, guys. We're going to be uh, 3D modeling some stuff in Blender. Uh, there's this game called Rogue Company. Uh, it's a brand new game, so we're gonna tr we're gonna make our replay system work not only in Valorant, but in Rogue Company, and it's gonna look seamless. It's gonna look beautiful. Uh, let's just show off how this works first. So we'll get um we'll get two clips here, and then we'll play them back. So I like to do the clips with the uh, ultimate ability. Here comes the party! Now this is gonna be 20 seconds of gameplay. So what I'm saying right now is probably gonna be in the clip. Watch this. So I just double clicked my middle mouse button and I got the confirmation in my headset. You guys can't hear, but I can. That's uh, another layer of my advanced programming. I want to be able to hear the confirmations, but I don't want you guys to be able to hear it. You know, for quality reasons. But uh, Okay, so that first clip just recorded. Now how we can test that that first clip just recorded, we can hit this hotkey that I have set up. Watch this. So this should play our first clip back. Test this out. And it's doing something from an ability. Here comes the party. Now this is going to be 20 seconds of gameplay. So what I'm saying right now is probably going to be in the clip. Watch this. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. That's what we call an automated clip system right there, folks. So I have a hotkey that will automatically play the last clip that you recorded. So... Regardless if you're on your 10th clip, your 12th clip, your 32nd clip, uh, whatever the last clip that you recorded, I have a hotkey that you can just watch the last one back. So if you want to do something cool like, you know, play that shit back, you can have a voice command for that. You can do whatever you want to do. Uh, it'll play it back. All right, so let's get our second one going. Let's change the character, though. Uh, I think we hit F3 in Valorant. No, it's F2. Just switch character. One of these other characters has a cool ultimate ability. It's going to be Sova. Let's check him out. All right, so we're going to hit X with Sova. I am the oh, wow. hunter. Clip that. Boom. All right, so now we got two clips. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the... Um, the replay capability on the first clip again, so let's make sure that's saved. Did it save? I don't know if it even worked. Let's see if it worked. I don't think it worked that time for some reason. I didn't get my proper confirmations there. Ultimate ability. Here comes the party. Yeah, so it didn't work. Now this is gonna be me. 20 seconds of gameplay, so what I'm saying right now is probably gonna be in the clip. Watch this. Oh, and we're back. Welcome back to the Steve XM show, guys. Uh, why the hell didn't that work? I don't know. Uh, let's try it again. Sometimes things just don't work properly, but... I pretty much had this working 100% the other day. Alright, that time it worked. Okay. And for some reason, the hotkeys that I have set up, you can see my character's little jump there. I'm not sure what that's about. But that's all bugs, you know, to fix that. But this is going to work for any game. 
So tonight on the stream live, we're going to be playing some Rogue Company. Brand new uh, Battle Royale game. I don't know if it's Battle Royale or not. I think it's kind of like a Battle Royale. But um, I just got a key for that today. So we're going to be making all of the elements for that live right now. You guys are going to see it. Oh, it happens live. Uh, let's play that last clip back. Let's see if it worked. Work. I don't know. Uh, let's try it again. Sometimes things just don't work properly, but I pretty much had this working 100% the other day. And bada bing, bada boom. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a third clip. And then we're going to string all those clips together. Automated. You know me. You know me. Automate that stuff. Uh, let's do a little... Um, Brimstone. Brimstone's got a nice ultimate. Okay, so let's start this. So we're gonna hit his ultimate ability. We're gonna say, see you later, sucker. Open up the sky! And then we're gonna hit the button to clip that little mug. Watch this. So I double click the mouse button. Yeah, look at my character jumps in game. That's interesting. <laughs> Gotta fix that. Not a big deal. Alright, so. There is a bit of a delay before that will save it properly. And I think if we can play it back now, let's make sure it worked. I have these clips set at 20 seconds, so they're a bit long. Okay, so let's start this. So we're gonna hit his ultimate ability. We're gonna say, see you later, sucker. Open up the sky! And then we're gonna hit the button to clip that little mug. Watch this. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. All right, another successful clip. Now, the brilliance of the automated universal Steve XM shout out hashtag. Um, we'll think of something good. Uh, clip system is that we can hit Control Alt Left, which will execute a command scripted. Um, we got some tutorials coming up for this, how it works uh, in depth. But this script is going to launch all three clips seamlessly with transitions to make it seem like it's a highlight system. And as you guys will see on the screen uh, over in that direction over there, you guys will see it'll say highlight clips, all that stuff. Let's let's see if it works. Three clips in a row. Let's see if it works. I don't know. It probably won't. I hope it does. Here we go. Ability. Here comes the party. Now this is going to be 20 seconds of gameplay, so what I'm saying right now is probably going to be in the clip. Watch this. Work. I don't know. Uh, let's try it again. Sometimes things just don't work properly, but I pretty much had this working 100% the other day. Okay, so let's start this. So we're going to hit his ultimate ability. We're going to say, see you later, sucker. Open up the sky! And then we're going to hit the button to clip that little mug. Watch this. Thank you. Thank you. Anything for you. No worries. That's what I'm here for. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So yeah, guys, the clip system works flawlessly, as you can see. You clip your little clips, you do what you want to do, you stream them all together. So my idea for the clips was, um, at the end of the game, for something like this game, Valorant, you know, you got like a 45-minute match. So it's kind of long, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but um, at the end of the game, in between matches, when you're searching for another match, you can hit your highlight reel button, which was the last uh, script that we just played. So, if you had like 10 clips, 20 seconds each, let's do the math on that. You know, that's 200 seconds of clips. So that's what, almost that's almost three minutes of clips. You could just play them back. And you could wait while you're waiting for the next match. You can say, hey guys, let's check out the highlight reel from the last game. Let's check out all them highlights. Let's see what we did. And it's fun too, because I like to, I don't just clip stuff when I do good. Sometimes I clip stuff when I like die and stuff like that. It's also good for review. Now, there's a little bit of depth that goes to this as well. 
So not only does that clip system um, automate itself and make a kind of seamless full uh, highlight reel, but it also saves everything. So I have this programmed, as you can see here, on my D drive, which is my big fat non-solid state drive. I have these folders here. We got game number one, game number 10. So game number one through game number 10. We have up to 10 games. Why is that on the screen there? We have up to 10 games of footage we can store. And uh, yeah, you can store up to 10 clips from 10 games. And that's how it works. So if you guys want to, after the fact, if you want to come back, you want to make a highlight reel of your own, you want to do a little bit of editing, uh, you can do that. So there's one last touch that I have to add to the highlight reel, and I haven't programmed this yet. Uh, I'm not going to do it now. But I want to make a text output that tells you the timestamp of when the clips are made. So even if you didn't want to look at these saved video files, like let's just check this out. So replay number three, that's our sofa clip. Boom, Work. saved I don't know. right there. Uh, let's try it again. Sometimes things don't work properly, but hunter. I pretty much had this working 100% the other day. Some ability. Here comes the party. See, I mean, all these video files are saved for you to edit after the fact. That's how I have the system set up. Um, and then as soon as you start a new game, there's a button you can hit. And then it'll automatically move those files to a new folder. It's all automated. Everything's super automated. Super perfect. Beautiful. Oh, it's just so advanced. <laughs> I just love it. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to rework the system for a brand new game that we're going to be playing tonight for the first time. First impressions, it's a game called Rogue Company. Let's just Google this thing. Let's just see what it looks like. Uh, let's go, it's called Rogue Company. Let's take a look. So I'm a little bit hyped for this. I mean, I'm not too hyped, but I'm a little bit hyped. So we're going to check this out. Rogue Company trailer. Let's throw this up in the background real quick. Get a little bit of inspiration. Maybe we'll... Uh, Learn the art style a little bit from the trailer. We're going to use that art style to influence the way that we're going to make these um, highlight scenes. Alright. Wake up, American. Nice. You guys ready? It's time to get paid. Don't like worry. Demo was born ready. Oh, oh. Oh. Careful now. Follow my lead. Holy shit. Almost have a drop of, uh, zone. Get your heads in the game. Art. Let's put on a show! Yeah, this is by Epic Games, guys. Same deal that made Fortnite, as far as I know. Keep up, Dallas! Nice map. Yeah, I'm down! Action. Sniper! Ping in that sniper for you. I'm taking the flank! Today is not your day, huh? Alright, we got the idea. It's high action, it's high impact. So what we're going to do is, we're going to download some asset files. So, anytime you guys are making a new project for any kind of game, um, highly recommended just in your Google search bar, which your default search bar should be set to Google. Just type in um, Rogue Company, so name of the game, HD. Let's see what comes up. Let's see what comes up. Go to Images, and we're going to take a peek here, and we're going to see if anything catches our eye, because we're going to use this for our transition reel. Actually, no, let's do, uh, let's do Rogue Company HD Logo PNG. The PNG file is a file that has uh, no background. It's not right. Sometimes these are really hard to find. Sometimes you got to make them on your own. If the game developers are smart, they'll kind of like push these things out there. All right, so we got one here. It's really low quality though. It's a 940 by 838 resolution. Not very good, but uh, we'll probably make it work. So we're going to go to save as. Save image as. And we have a project folder called Rogue Company here.
and we have a reference folder in that folder assets there we go and it's saving it as a chrome document that's not good so i got another trick around that as well <laughs> we'll just save that there all right so if we go into gimp gimp i found a way around this with gimp but gimp can open these files and then convert them to pngs pretty well uh, so sometimes it's hard to find the actual png of the file but gimp will get you there every time guys this is a free program bring it over here so you guys can see what i'm seeing wait what's going on in valorant people are trying to play with me right now i just heard like a message wouldn't that be funny if i just got distracted and just started playing valorant for like the next hour <laughs> yeah we're good back out of this city wants to be friends okay sure thanks obsidian you're welcome hey simon what's up How's it going? I am programmed to feel great all the time. I need you to do something for me. Can you help me? What do you need? Post the Discord link in chat. Hey, everyone. Don't forget to join the Discord. The link's in chat. Yeah, thanks, Simon. All right, so what we can do is we can open that file we just downloaded by going to Projects, Road Company, Assets. There it is. So, I don't know, this is like a WebEx file. This doesn't really work well with other files. We can just export this as a PNG. So, pro tip. This is not something you run into quite often, but... Dot .png. And then we should be good to go. Okay, so we need some more assets. We don't have enough assets. We got the game logo, but we need some of the game characters or something too because I want to make a cool transition. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, I'm going to be that clip system that you guys seen earlier in the show to show the Valorant characters coming up, all that kind of cool stuff. I want to do the same thing, but with the characters. Is this a PNG? What is this? They're calling it a PNG, but it doesn't look like a PNG. Hmm. All right, let's download it. Maybe it's a PNG. With all kinds of links and viruses. Want to avoid those viruses. Okay, we'll save it here. It looks like it is a PNG file. Okay, that's good. All right, so we might have everything we need. But we also want to kind of get the theme of the background here. So I don't know much about this game yet, but it seems like it's a red... And black background, pretty basic, pretty simple. The Valorant one that I already have is probably going to work just fine for that. So let's just open Blender. Man, I got a lot of things open. Can I close anything right now? Oh, don't do that. All right, let's close GIMP. See you later, GIMP. Close Firefox. We're going to open Blender. Affirmative. Hey, Simon. Howdy. Guess what? You're a piece of junk, Simon. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our Valorant transition project. So the secret to programming this for another game is that we're just going to use the same Valorant file. It's, it's the same amount of frames. We don't want to change the amount of frames because the transitions are all programmed to work with a certain amount of frames. So we're going to open up Valorant transitions. And here it is. And we're going to play this so you guys can see what it looks like see the concept of it and we're literally just going to modify this because we've got the number of frames here it's only 90 frames look at that that's what it does it's boom valorant so that's our basic transition so what we're going to do is we're going to do file save as we're going to go to rogue company and we're going to save this as transition transition.blend boom now the only difference is is instead of this saying valorant we want this to say rogue company and we're gonna do we're gonna go to frame one and our 3d cursor should be over here i think let's just set it over here we're gonna go file import images planes and we're gonna go to assets and rogue company we're already there there's the logo and it's really small or something, so 
Let's scale this sucker up. Let's first let's move it up in the Z. So hit Z. Or no, hit G. Control Z. G Z. Move it up so we can see it. Scale that little puppy up. And there it is. So we're just gonna replace that Valorant with that Rogue Company logo. So we can just delete that Valorant text. See you later, Valorant text. Here we go. Delete. Move this into position. G Y G X. Scale that sucker up. G Y G X. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go into edit mode. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, edit, right click, subdivide. Why don't I see that? Let's go to subdivide, subdivide. Here we go. So we're going to do a little cut tool. So we subdivided this up into some squares here. You can see. I'm just trying to get rid of this alpha thing. I don't want that alpha there. I don't care about the alpha. We all know it's an alpha. Get over it. So we cut there. We hit enter. And then we can go to face select mode. And we can delete all these faces. Delete. See you later. And we got the good stuff here. The rogue company stuff. Okay. Now. The secret is to move this into position as we want. Let's go into Shade Editor though. Shift F3. So this is our texture file that we got down here. That we loaded in. The secret is we want to turn the roughness up. Specular down. Sheer tint down. It's going to make sure the lighting doesn't really affect it too much. Okay, that's centered pretty good. That's what we want to look for. Yeah, this is going to be the same format. So I could do this for any single game that we come up with. We can just have the custom clip system. You want to do this for Overwatch. You want to do this for Call of Duty. What you want to do, hit me up. I'm your boy. $10 a clip system. I am thinking about selling this, though, honestly. Okay, so Rogue Company. That looks pretty good. Let's play it. All right, so the secret is... We got to go to our timeline. Let's bring our timeline up down here. What is it? Shift F6? Yeah, Shift F6. Okay, the timeline. We hit Shift uh, left arrow to bring it back to the uh, first frame. So if we click that, and if we click the other thing behind it, how do we grab that? First, let's bring this down. Easy. GX. Scale, GY, X, GY. All right, so we want to click that thing underneath it, but we want to click that second, I think. So click this first, shift click that, and then you hit uh, P, control P, parent it to object. So now it'll move with that little thing. Boom, row company, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so that's literally all we have to do for that. So we can render this sucker. It's going to be 90 frames. Uh, I'm going to render it over yonder. Ooh, it's going to compositing. Let's take a look at this. F12. All right, so yeah, I do use a special trick that I'm not going to get into today because it's really just a limitation of OBS. But um, we use a green background. Because we actually key that out. It's a big limitation of OBS. But, um, go into that in another episode. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. All right, so let's render that sucker. So let's hit uh, Control F12. This will take some time. We're just going to sit back and relax and watch it render nice and slick. Now, this angled uh, red thing you see definitely was like. Whoa, what's all that like blurring going on there? I don't like that. Holy crap, that looks horrible. What is that from? Is that like a shadow? I don't like that. It probably will look fine in fast motion. I mean, this is only 90 frames, so this is a second and a half transition. 
It'll probably look fine in fast motion, but that's strange. I've never seen those streaks before. Interesting. Okay, as you're seeing the magic happen live. So the next thing that we have to do is just animate a highlight clip reel that's going to come up. Add this in OBS. All right, we're rendering out some final frames in green. So this is this gets to the limitations of OBS. So sometimes OBS, when you're playing a clip, um, it shows randomly. It just shows the last like ten percent of the frames. It'll just show a random frame. So what I do is I render a bunch of those green frames and I key them out. So it just I don't even want to get into it right now. OBS just frustrates me. But let's open OBS. It's over here. Okay, here we are. We're in OBS. So this is our Valorant stream that we have set up, our Valorant uh, scene. And the clip that we just animated was called this, I believe. Let's check it out. No, that's the highlight one. Okay. There's another one somewhere in here. It's this one here. Whoa, what the hell? Did I just overwrite the other one? Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, good thing I don't play Valorant anymore. The game's trash. Right, that's not right, though, because it just... All right, so yeah, that must have overrided the Valorant one. That's okay. Let's go back into OB... Let's go back into Blender and see what just happened there. Go to... Uh, render View Animation. Yeah, that looks fine. Rogue Company. But when you view it in OBS, for some reason, it just kind of skips right to logo coming up. That's not right. Why is it doing that? Filters. Chroma key, that's fine. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. <clears throat> well, we can we can check out the file that it's viewing, so let's do this. Do a little troubleshooting. So we go into the file that it's opening. Oh, look at that. What the hell? Oh, that's better. I guess we just had like reopen it or something. I don't know. But yeah, you can see the streaks in there. I don't know what the hell that's coming from. So we got to check that out. Let's go back to Blender. Something going on with some shadows or something. All right, so bring this over here. Yeah, what, what's going on with all the shadows? Maybe it's because it's on the same plane, so we just got to go G and then Z. Oh. Hell. <laughs> Weird shadow effect there. I like the shadows, but not that kind of shadow. What the hell? All right, let's grab our lights. Bring these down. Let's go Jeezy. Yeah, those shadows are just ridiculous. So we can take this light. We can remove the radius on this. Eh. Down. Yeah, look at that shadow. What the? F so the only thing I can think of is not from the lights. We must have some kind of weird, um, open this up so I can see this. We must have some kind of weird thing going on in the world settings here. So let's take a look at this. Let's open up rendered mode. Let's hit control T. So control T with node wrangler add-on will let you modify the world settings here. Won't get into that specific to that, but you guys know what I'm talking about if you're Blender pros. Let's rotate some of the stuff. Let's see if that fixes our shadow. Definitely helping. What's going on here? All right, so one way we could fix this, which is unfortunate, we can go to layout. We can right click on all this stuff here. Go into shading editor. 
We can just get rid of the shadows on that altogether if we want. Oh, what the hell is this? Why is this at 0 0.05? Change this to 1. Whoa. All right, that's better, though. I don't think we want it that high, but... All right, so let's go back. Something was going on with this over here. This was set really low. Uh, let's go to 0.5. Good, that gets us a little bit of shadows there. How about 0.38? Good, let's re-render that. And we're going to save this to the appropriate place this time. Which is not here. We don't want it there. We want to go to Projects folder. Sort these by Modified Date, Road Company... Renders, clip transition, boom. Control F12. So now we'll have this saved for, whoa. This will be saved for Rogue Company. We have not played this game yet. This game might, well, look at that. Look at that shadow. What's going on here? What the hell? I don't like that. All right, we got to figure that out. All right, so this is going to be easy to fix. You guys know me. I have a hunch on what's uh, what's going on here. So let's just exit out of this. We don't want to render it anymore, that. It doesn't show it. Oh, well, I guess it shows it up here a little bit. So I know what's going on. Let's, let's go to object mode. So yeah, this is just rendering a shadow here. So the alpha is not working properly, I guess. Yeah, the alpha is just not good enough. I guess it has to do with the way we saved it. Um, I wonder if there's a way we can fix that. Let's change this to... It's not going to matter. Maybe we can multiply the alpha? Let's try that. So I'll go shift. A math. We'll go to... Multiplication. And let's just crank the sucker up to one. Crank it up to 10. That is not helping. Is it? Can't tell. Maybe just get rid of these stupid lights. Get rid of those lights. It's definitely the alpha, though. You can see this over here. You can see this blend here it's not right the alpha is not being processed properly and i'm not sure how to fix that so we can try adding i think the multiplication helped it's quick anyways let's um let's hit control f12 let's render this out Be right back folks i gotta go take a bathroom break Ah, oh, it still looks like crap. Look at that. All right, what the heck is going on, folks? It's just a shitty PNG, and that's all it is. Not our fault. There's just not enough alpha there. Let, let's view the render. I don't know. View animation. It doesn't look that bad. Did we get the whole thing? No, let's just re-render it. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, this looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but... um. Rogue Company. Wow, look at that emission, though. What's going on there? Really bright. Um, 
We can modify that a bit. Why is that so freaking bright? Hmm? Yeah, that's strange. I don't know what's going on here because I can, I can change the settings here of this file, but it's not really doing much. Maybe it's because of the multiply. Let's change that back to one. Oh, that did help. Okay. Go back over to the shadow. Hit F12. All right, a shadow is gone now. It was just the lighting, I think. I think that's all it was. So let's get rid of this multiply node. Get our alpha back. We need the alpha. And let's hit F12. Turn our roughness all the way up. Let's hit F12 again. All right, we're gonna we're gonna delete this. We're gonna make this an emission shader. Shift A emission. That'll help us control the uh, brightness a bit here. Although the alpha gets all fucked up, doesn't it? Let's go to alpha and the strength. Does that do it? Shit. All right, maybe we got to go back to a BSDF. Actually, we can probably just plug this. Can we plug this right into the surface? Let's check that out. Now we need a BSDF. BSDF. Principle. All right, so if we plug our alpha in, that will get rid of the invisible stuff. Way too bright in the... But what we can do here is we can we can put in a node a color ramp. Try this. That's pretty cool. Turns it black and white though, I don't like that. Alright, this is not bad. This is fine. That's gonna be fine. No one's gonna notice. Just hit Control F12, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Let's render that sucker out. So something new that we've uh, done on the channel recently is motion tracking. Oh, cool. look at this. <laughs> so we've been learning motion tracking with Blender, guys. This looks pretty freaking badass right now, I gotta say. I can actually, I have no pants on right now, but I probably could use this to cover myself up. Let's try this. Yeah, even with no pants on, I can just stream with this. So these are little trackers here, you guys can see. Let's see if my uh, hotkeys work here. I don't think they're going to work. No, they don't work. We're going to be using this to create some pretty cool uh, upcoming uh, nice camo pants, dude. <laughs> What's up, Slotno Maggot? Yeah, no, I, I like to stream with no pants on whenever I can. I've been without a VR headset now for months, so well, about a month. And when you're streaming VR games, you pretty much have to wear pants. Uh, I don't wear pants anytime I can when I'm uh, <laughs> doing desktop streaming. All right, so let's go to render. Let's go to view animation. Boom, look at that, row company. Boom, looks good. All right, so all we have to do to make this work in our in our project here. That's horrible. Yeah, nah, it's horrible, but I'll get my headset back soon. So we're going to add a new source. We're going to duplicate this one somehow. Copy, paste, reference. I don't think that matters, actually. Can I rename that one? Rename, we're going to call this one uh, R Rogue Company, RC. Oh, rename both. Control Z. I, oh, no. What the hell was that named? See, this is where freaking OBS stinks. There's no undo button. So I literally just broke my replay system because there's no undo button. What we have to do is we have to go into our replay system here. And uh, we got to see what the hell it was trying to do there. I have a whole category for my replay system somewhere. Find it. 
Hmm. Where is it? I can't find it. OBS replay. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so it's this one here. So, clip transition is one. Is that the one we need? Check it out. All right, this is where the programming and the naming gets important. All right, so yeah, this has got to be renamed. Rename clip. Oh, this clip T R A N S I T I O N clip transition. Now the spelling matters, unfortunately. So let's delete one of these. Remove. Oh, it has to be. Uh, it's case sensitive. Let's go back into that and make sure that's appropriate. That's not the right one. Congratulations, by the way, Slopedown Maggot, for making the top 10 on uh, the uh, in-death Oculus challenge. Oculus Quest challenge. Congratulations, man. That's pretty badass. Top 10 in the world, by the way. That's my cousin there, slept on Maggot in chat. All right, so this is OBS replay system down here. Play that back, there it is. Clip. All right, so the C and the T are capitalized, that's fine. I just wanna make sure I didn't break it for other things. So let's test it out, see if it works. Okay, so let's start this. Yeah, that did so not we're going to hit his ultimate ability. We're going to say, see you later, sucker. Open up the sky! And then we're going to hit the button to clip that little mug. Watch this. Why didn't that work? What the hell? Felt it right. Clip transition. Clip space transition. Control alt right. We got some bugs to work out, guys. This is going to take a while. Doesn't help that my freaking voice stack updates every second. Flip space transition. I mean, this should work. I just want to make sure I don't break my old clip transition systems. Just this out. Okay, so let's start this. Oh, you know what? I think it's because the files. So we're gonna like hit his ultimate ability. We're gonna say, "See you later, sucker." Open up the sky. And then we're gonna hit the button to clip that little mug. Watch this. All right, let's try it one last time. Okay, so let's start this. Broke it. So we're gonna hit his ultimate ability. We're gonna say, "See you later, sucker." Open up the sky. Then we're gonna hit the button to clip that little mug. Watch this. Alright, so I was able to single handedly break my clip transition system. But this should be fine here. This clip transition here, we need to make a new one. We need to make a new. New. Oh, let me show my OBS so you guys can see this. New media source. This is going to be called um, Rogue Company RC Trans. RC Trans. And we're going to navigate to that folder, which is going to be in Projects, Rogue Company Renders, Clip Transition, Bada Bing, Bada Boom. Click that, click that. There it is. We got to scale it down so it's 720p, like a chump. I want to play it. Let's turn the loop on. Doesn't want to play it. Man, sometimes I can't stand OBS. Can't not stand it. So many bugs, and it's like. <laughs> This is like, this is, as a streamer, this is like our best option out there. 
and it works for the most part but when you start to get into like advanced things like you want to do cool stuff this doesn't work all right so we got to just delete the source we'll just remake another one watch this so we got to remove we're going to add a new media source we're going to call this rc trans again this time i'm going to enable loop just to make sure show nothing when playback ends uh, i think we want that disabled i think i don't know all right there it is it should keep looping now that it keeps looping that enables us to be able to scale it properly so that's good that's what we want now we can apply a filter this filter is going to be a chroma key and it's going to be a green chroma key bada bing bada boom this will make the transition look nice and pretty. All right, so now we just got to go to filters, or no, properties, and turn off the loop on there. Properties, loop. Now, the only thing that I should have to do differently is when I go into my... Let's duplicate this. Uh, we're going to call this a rogue company... Uh, Rogue company scene, S C E N E, whatever. S C E N E. Order, move to top. All right, so now this is our rogue company scene. We can just delete, delete the uh, clip transition. Move. But now we have to go into our voice attack because this is how the clip system is controlled. And we have to add in RC trans anywhere that that would appear. So just gotta look for RC trans, or no, we gotta look for clip transition. And then we gotta hit duplicate. Then we just rename this as RC trans. Boom. But then we got to reactivate it. So we got to hide it. This one, we got to duplicate. So I want to make this universal. So you can just keep repeating this process as many times as you wanted for as many unique clip systems as you wanted to add. And this would work fine. Uh, this one down here. So this should work, I do believe. I do believe those three lines of code that I modified and changed should do something. So let's reset our clip system. So I got this fancy key here. I'll hit it right now. Uh, Control Alt uh, Backslash. It resets all the video files, deletes them all, starts from scratch, all that stuff. Resets our video counter to zero. So it knows how many clips that we have. Now, if I double click my mouse, it should clip what I'm saying right now. So this should be recorded as a clip. Let's check it out. Go, it worked, it worked. So, hopefully when we play this back, it will use the transition of the, actually, let's make a second clip just to be safe. So here we go, second clip coming up, recording this stuff that I'm seeing right now. Check it out. Good work, should be good. Got a five second delay before we can actually execute anything. Just the way it's programmed. Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. When we play this back, it will use the transition of the... Actually, let's make a second clip just to be safe. So here we go. Second clip coming up, recording this stuff that I'm seeing right now. Check Damn it out. It's not working. Son of a gun. All right, let's try doing the ultimate clip combo thing. Starts from scratch, all that stuff. Resets right, our video counter to zero. See that? Who knows how many clips that we have? 
Now, if I double click my mouse, it should clip what I'm saying right now. So this should be recorded as a clip. Let's check it out. When we play this back, it will use the transition of the... Actually, let's make a second clip just to be safe. But here we go. Second clip coming up, recording this stuff that I'm seeing right now. Check it out. What just happened? Why didn't that work? All right, so it didn't work. We screwed something up completely horribly wrong. Uh, that's okay, though. I'll fix it later. We're not going to fix it now. But what we are going to do is we're going to open... Save this. We're going to open our other Valorant transition, and we're going to make a new one. Go to Valorant... I'm going to copy and paste everything we use from there. Transitions. One of these. I don't know which one it is. Clip transition. I think it's this one. No, it's not the right one. One of these says highlights. Open this one. Is this one. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go shift A, import images, planes, put a row company, assets, logo. Then we're going to go G to the Z. We're going to delete the Valorant logo. We're going to go file, save as, row company. I'll save this as R. C transition highlights dot blend boom boom boom. Okay, come up here. Scale this sucker up. Oh look at that. Yeah, it's acting weird again. G e Y. Scale scale G Y. Go into edit mode, right click, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Get our knife tool out with a K. And we're just going to delete this sh shite here. I don't care that it's an alpha, guys. I don't care about that. Base select mode. Delete. Oh, shit. We didn't cut that right. Knife tool. Oh, wait. Face select mode. Oh, here we go. See you later. Good, looks good. All right, we're going to replace these characters here. We're just going to delete them suckers. Along with their cool effects. And this other cool effect here, whatever that is. Shift A. File, import, images, planes. And we're going to go to our rogue company, assets, characters. Scale that sucker up. All right, first, let's modify this one. Let's turn the roughness up, specular down, sheer tint down. Same with this one, roughness up, specular down, sheen tint down. GX, GY, GX. Scale them suckers up a little bit. Y, look pretty good. Probably want them above that, though. So we'll go G, Z. It's doing the same thing with the stupid shadows. Why is this lighting do this? Oh, we got some moving people here. That's cool. All right, anyways. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the lighting. I don't know why it's doing this. It's like a new thing for me. We've done this before. We can disable shadows if we want, though. Invisibility, viewport display, shadows. See you later. Interestingly, though, it's not changing it. Set F12. Hey, look at those stupid shadows.
GY, GX. F12, let's render it. So as soon as we can get rid of those dumb shadows, we're good to go. I don't know why those are coming in. Let's delete this light too. I don't know why those lights are doing that to my alpha layers here. That's all right though. We're going to go to shift F3, shift F6, shift F3. Hmm. All right, well, let's go to shading. Oh, my dogs are going nuts. That's cool. Got a world. And it's the same thing here where this was way too low. So we'll just go to 0. 0.5. There it is. Render that sucker. This looks all right. Is that that one guy? That guy looks familiar, eh? Are these characters even from this game? <laughs> That'd be funny if this was just from like some random movie. Looks like the guy that's in uh, Walking Dead. All right, let's make sure this is animated, right? So those aren't animated at all. That's cool. So all we have to do to animate these suckers is we'll click that first. Then we'll click this. Control P. Here an object that's going to animate that with that block. Boom, boom, boom. Now these guys we want to be rendered separately, so let's. We're going to go GX. X. I location. Play it, play it. Probably want them to come in first before the highlights. We're going to go GX. I location. Oh, it's way too slow. So we can come into the graph editor and we can go GX over. Let's play it back. And they come in too soon too. So we can grab both of these and we can go GX. Play it back. And then we want them to come out a little bit after that. So right about here, we want to go I, location, move over a little bit more, GX, I, location. This should look good. Let's check it out. Now they're too, uh, it's too slow. So we can move these closer together with a little GX action. G axis will make it move in and out faster. Boom. A little snappy. There it is. Okay, so we can render this now as uh boom, we're gonna open up projects, rogue company, renders, uh highlights, except uh RGB, we don't need the well, let's make sure there's green in the background. Yeah, see, there's no green. That's a problem. But it appears to be working so far, so we're going to hit Control F12. And we're going to render the sucker. And we're going to be good to go. And this is how we're going to end the show, guys. So hopefully, later tonight, when we stream Rogue Company, you guys will see these transitions in full effect, working properly with the proper clip system. Uh, no promises that it's going to work, but um, hopefully it will. Now let's watch a couple frames here. Here is the Rogue Company logo. It's a bit lackluster. Um, it probably needs a little bit of highlights, a little bit of a mission. There goes your guy from The Walking Dead coming in. Lucy Liu and um, Thor from uh, Marvel. And the highlight thing comes in quite a bit long afterwards. Yeah, it's a bit long after. It's not good. It's all right, though. What's he got? Like a little freaking... Whoa, what did I just do? Let's pause it. Huh. So the reason that I copied this from my Valorant transition uh, project is that all my programming for the um, OBS will be the same and voice attack. It'll all be the same. All the transition pauses and all that stuff should work flawlessly. So hopefully this will work properly. But, uh, that's how I end the Steve XM show, guys, today. I will catch you later. 
Catch you on the next episode. Peace out, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the nonsense of me trying to figure out some stuff in Blender, breaking some of my uh, automated programs, but hopefully it all works in the end.